What's going on, Venetians? Uh, if I sound hoarse, it's because I just recorded another video before this. My throat's shot, um, and my feet hurt. I just came back from the creepiest thing that I've ever seen in my life. Now, remember I mentioned in the video about the, um, last YouTube Space Happy Hour, I met a, a new friend, her name is Momo, she is a model, and a brand new YouTuber. Uh, check her out, click this right here. Check out her channel. Really cool person. Nice person, very friendly. Uh, the person who's making her videos, because she doesn't have any editing at all, um, his name is Roger. He also is part of the a, a channel called the Pirates of Tokyo Bay. Uh, check out his channel here too. Click this button, the little I button right here. Um, she invited me and him, I guess, to this event in Hir uh, Hiratsuka. Hiratsuka is in the western part of Shonan. I love Shonan, so. I, I figured like, okay, cool, Shonan, I have nothing to do this Sunday, so I might as well go down and check it out, right? Plus, it's my YouTuber friend, right? Brand new YouTuber friend, wanted to give her some support. I had no idea what it was. Um, all I know is it had something to do with the whole Miss Shonan thing, so it was like a beauty pageant. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll probably vlog this, make this a uh, video, kind of show off what the beauty pageants are like in Japan. Maybe show a little bit of Hiratsuka, because it seems like a nice little town. I get there, I realized I didn't have my memory card. I got there super early too, like they, they told me to get there at like 9, or at least she told me to get there at 9, so I tried to get there as soon as I could. Um, it was raining. It was really, really, really raining on, uh, well, it's, I'm recording this Sunday, so Sunday morning, this morning, it was raining like hell, and I was super afraid of my camera getting wet, so I, I just tried to hide my camera as much as I could, basically make sure I didn't get anything damaged, right? And because she was the only person I knew there, and Roger from Pirates of Tokyo Bay was at work, I could not get into contact with anybody, so I was completely lost, because I'd never been to Hiratsuka before. So I ended up on the beach by this volleyball court, and then eventually I was able to find my way over towards where the event was being held, and they were doing this uh, first thing, it was like a lineup at this park. And this is what you guys probably saw on Twitter, right? So here's the picture from, from Twitter that I posted. There was a lineup of girls, here uh, number five is Momo. You can, nice person right you know she looks like every other model right beautiful girl obviously but yeah uh, she's lined up there and then look at this you can already see from the lineup though look at this right here you see this huge fucking chunk of men I was the youngest person there I'm 24 years old almost 25 well not almost like in five months I'll be 25 I was the youngest person there. Everyone else was like a middle age, like the average age there was at least 45 or 50. Like, holy crap, I'm serious about that. And look at the tarp here. I'm gonna go back to this, this photo right here. Go right here, boom. This photo right here, you see the tarp? It says, Shonan Joshi Satsue Kenkyu Kai. Or Shashin Kenkyu Kai. Sorry, I misread the kanji, right? That literally means Shonan Girls Photography research club or taking pictures of shonan girls research club no, depending on how you want to read the kanji yeah it was creepy from the get-go i was creeped out beyond my entire belief so what happened next was they brought they split into two groups of girls one group went to um went on a bus and went somewhere i forgot and then the other group went to the beach and we kind of all walked there together, like the girls and the photographers. So I was like, are you guys, are the girls okay? Are they going to get harassed? I mean, these types of people are the exact same people I see get arrested sometimes for doing creepy shit, right? Someone there introduced me as uh, Momo's friend. I think he was a 30-something uh, shown on local. He was equally as confused. Nice dude, though. I was chatting with him. Good Japanese practice, by the way. <laughs> So him and I were standing there, and you know, Momo's in front of us, doing like various poses, all that kind of stuff. Right here's some photos here. You know, go ahead, look at them. I'll go at Momo. I don't know if I'm allowed to post these. Who gives a shit? Whatever. Um, okay, photos go bye bye. All right, awesome. So basically, Momo is just standing there, and you know, all all the guys are taking pictures and whatnot. Whatever. And then they switch into bikinis, and, it, and there's like groups of girls like switching to bikinis first, and all of a sudden all the guys go straight to the bikini chicks, and then Momo switches to her bikini, and boom, everyone goes to Momo. And it was really cold. The rain let up, but it was windy and cold. We're right by the ocean. 
I could tell, like, everyone was freezing their ass off. Almost literally, like, because people's legs were jiggling, like, they were shaking, right? So, it was a very, uh, weird experience. Some guys were, like, commenting, being creepy. I like your neck, one of them said. One guy said, ooh, your cleavage looks good when you do this pose. I was like, what the shit? It was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I, I just, I didn't want to be there the whole time. I, I was just there to support Momo and everything like that. So, you know, I, I just kind of did whatever I could, right? So, what I did next, what, what, what we did next was that group left. Momo's group left and another group of girls came. I think it was nine, it was 18 girls total. So, nine by nine, right? So, the other group, uh, by that time, Roger from Tyre, Pirates of Tokyo Bay came around. And him and I were just discussing photography stuff. And looking at, you know, just going to different groups of people, seeing what was going on. And after that was over with, uh, we went to this building and they had like a, it was the actual pageant, which was, which lasted about an hour and a half. Roger left early, he had to go somewhere, he had a meeting, and then I, I just kind of stayed around for a bit. One girl started crying, one girl was like, uh, this is my first time, I have no idea what I'm doing, and kept tripping over herself. Another girl tried too hard to show off. Uh, it was just... I learned quickly why I really do not like the fashion and beauty pageant industry because it's just so fake. But what was kind of surprising was like Momo kept it real, I could tell. Like she was like, boom, you know, straight up, you know, straight to the point with her speaking. I think she took acting, uh, whatever, acting classes, right? And she didn't get that much attention from the judges. Like people don't really ask her that many questions or whatever. They were all asking a lot of different people questions, and then she won somehow. Momo won, and she was the first place winner, so that was cool. There's her accepting the uh, thing, and that's obviously her bikini. All right, moving on. So she won that, so I was like, okay, this is cool. I'll stay around some more, and then all of a sudden, everyone just like <laughs> crowding around Momo, and I was like, okay, I'm getting out of here. So I left early. I, I, that was just a um, weird day, very weird experience. And I've never been this weirded out or confused since the TV show shoot. And by the way, like I said, that, that's going to be uh, posted after the broadcast, which is early next month. I don't know when it's being uh, broadcast yet, but uh, next month. Just look for it next month, early next month. I really don't know what to think about it. Like, it's just a bunch of old dudes taking pictures of girls. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they could put this like on their resume. This is, you know, I was Miss Shonan 2016. I was Miss Shonan uh photogenic 26 whatever right maybe that's what they could you know that's the benefit that those girls get um i don't know what those guys do with those pictures some people had like insane cameras like you guys see my dslr my red one right that that's just a very normal dslr some people had these humongous telescope lens for what reason the girl's literally six feet in front of you right what do you need a huge fucking lens for son it was so weird. I want to know if any of you guys are models, like especially the girl YouTubers, have you guys ever done anything like this? Um, what do you think about it? Let me know. It was very strange. And I do not know why I got asked to be part of this. Maybe it's because I actually had, you know, I voted for Momo to win. I don't know. Uh, I didn't pay anything, so that was good. <laughs> but that was what happened. I mean, if you guys were wondering about my Twitter, why I was flipping out all day on Twitter. That's exactly what happened. So, yeah, cool. Another thing that Gaijin normally doesn't get to do, right? <laughs> anyway, that's what happened on Sunday, and I will see you all later this week with more videos. Thank you guys again for watching. Hit that sub button if you did. Hit this little thing right here to see uh, Momo and Roger's channels. Uh, give them some love. Give them some real love. Like, awesome, like... Don't be superficial to them. Like, they're awesome people. And, uh, yeah. See you on the next video. Take it easy, Phoenicians. When